What is shaking, Internet? This is Salts bringing you the How to Tank for Dummies Guide, Blade Lord Tayak, LFR. Tayak, or the Tornado Boss, is the second boss in the first half of, Heart of Fe the Heart of Fear instance, which in LFR is called the Dread Approach. The trash up to Tayak is nice in that it will give you a taste of what the boss does. There are four packs that have four abilities, uh, each one being one the boss does as well. Uh, we'll cover the four moves later in the boss. For now, you can just AoE down the trash and move on. Just so you know, the big one named Instructor is the one that does the moves. The others are just normal junk trash. Tayak himself is a two-phase, two-tank fight. He can't be engaged until all four packs of tracks, uh, trash are dead in the side rooms. Once they're done, uh, he'll be targetable and you can just initiate on him. Tayak's first phase is going to be pretty much the harder one. Or <laughs> the only one, really. Uh... He has four abilities, one that each of the instructors you just killed had. The first, and most deadly one, is Unseen Strikes. Every minute or so, the boss will turn invisible for five seconds and put a big red arrow over a random raid member's head. The entire raid should stack on the arrow victim, as the boss will do a cone attack on the raid member doing massive damage to everyone hit. The damage is shared by everyone it hits, so the more people it hits, the better off your raid will be. I'm torn on this move, as you should stack up on the red arrow, but even as a tank, if you get hit by this with just one other person, you're likely dead. Uh, try to make sure that there are at least five or six people stacked up to take this attack, otherwise it can easily result in a wipe, even on LFR. Uh, the second move is Wind Step. This is a move that puts a DOT on a random raid member and everyone close to them. Your raid should spread out for this, but as a tank it really shouldn't matter much to you. Uh, the third move is Tempest Slash. This move will create a tornado that moves around in a slow circle, doing damage and knocking back anyone it touches. This is mostly ignorable, but be aware of the tornadoes, and run to a different area of the room if they get unmanageable. They'll never despawn, so be aware of that. Uh, the last move is Overwhelming Assault. This is why the fight needs two tanks. Uh, this move does a decent amount of damage, but more importantly it applies a debuff that increases the damage of Overwhelming Assaults in the future. This means that overwhelming uh, strikes, overwhelming assaults, will continuously do more damage if you keep getting hit by them. Uh, tanks should each taunt off each other at two stacks of overwhelming assault, and just wait for your debuff to drop off before taunting the boss back. And that's pretty much phase one. Let's recap. Stack on the red arrows when the boss goes invisible. Uh, try to stay spread out. Avoid tornadoes. And taunt at two stacks of debuff. This phase will continue until the boss reaches 20% health. Uh, one more thing to note. The boss continuously puts a 5% damage bonus on himself throughout the fight every minute or so. The longer you're fighting him, the more damage he'll be dealing. It acts as a soft and rage timer, as eventually he'll just one-shot everything and everyone. Phase 2 starts at 20% health. At this point, tanks are no longer needed, so I'll just go through the normal idea for the rest of the fight. The boss will pull everyone into the middle of the room, and then shoot everyone down to one side of a long corridor. The boss will also fly to the opposite end of the corridor and start spawning tornadoes and sending them out towards you. The objective is to play Frogger and get from one end of the corridor to the other without getting hit by a tornado. If you're hit, you get sent backwards to the end of the corridor or maybe halfway if you're far enough. Throughout phase two, the boss will continuously do raid-wide damage to everyone. He'll also continuously stack that 5% damage bonus uh, on himself every minute which will mean more damage to you overall. Still, once you get to phase 2, you should mostly be in the clear, unless all of your healers fail miserably on the tornadoes. Uh, use any movement speeds you movement speed buffs you can in phase 2, like Aspect of the Pack or Stampeding Roar, uh, to help out. Like, I use Cat Form in the video, because I'm a druid, even though I don't use Dash, because I'm a noob. Uh, there aren't really many differences between LFR and Normal. For the overachievers out there, the mechanics are the same, but overwhelming assaults obviously hit much harder, and wind step is something that really requires everyone in range to actually spread out, or the healers won't be able to keep everybody up. Uh, you should use your cooldowns. You <laughs> yeah, you definitely use your cooldowns effectively, um, and throughout the fight. I hope you enjoyed this guide for dummies. Please like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz, and as always, you keep it salty, internet. Um, I probably am a little short on this video, so I'm just going to play the rest with some chiptune music that I got. So, rock on. And thank you everybody for listening.